Uh, this morning, uh, we want to. Sh uh, I don't have any additional information on the status of the victims. We're not aware of any of them having been released uh, since yesterday. Those who were admitted, um, as we find out as they're released, we'll we'll let you know. Um, but I would like to do is share some of the images of the weapon that was used by the suspect. I know yesterday one of the questions was how many weapons did the suspect use or have in his possession at the time of the incident. Uh, and we know now that he had in his possession one. Uh, rifle, an AR-15 style rifle, a 223 caliber. Uh, I think we've got an image of that that we can put up for you. So this is, I'll step out of the way. This is the rifle the suspect brought into the school and used. I'll note that I'm just, first time I saw it large, there is no forward handguard on that rifle, which is unusual see the the gas tube going back there um, the suspect in addition to the rifle brought in a large quantity of ammunition he had seven magazines of ammunition on a chest rig that he wore he also had an additional eight magazines of ammunition in a field bag that he had carried now, this doesn't include the number of magazines that he left and dumped on the stairway uh, in the corridors along the way. But it appears that he came into the building with more than 600 rounds of ammunition on his person. One of the other questions that came up yesterday uh, was there a manifesto that was left. Uh, when the FBI had gone through the, the vehicle that had been parked there uh, that he used to drive to the school, there was some paperwork in it. Uh, the detectives had gone through um, much of it last evening. Um, there was a document that he had created, uh, handwritten, and in there he spoke about uh, his desire to, con to engage in this incident, to, to conduct this school shooting. So in reading this, we could see you know, some of what's going on inside his mind. He feels isolated, he feels alone, uh, quite possibly angry and resentful of others who have uh, what appeared to him to be healthy relationships and so a desire to lash out. So this goes back to what I spoke about earlier, the Im critical importance of all of us being engaged with our family members, with our peers at work or at school or in our neighborhood because when we're more engaged with one another, we're more aware of what each person is going through, we can do what we can to try and seek help for them even if that's just reporting it to authorities. Based on the level of ammunition, how impactful was it that you had more than the number of officers in that area? Yeah, it, it was critical. You know, the 600 rounds is a lot of ammunition. If I don't know if anybody's a shooter or not, but it doesn't take long to burn through a magazine um, as you're looking down a long corridor or up or down a stairwell or into a classroom. Um, this could have been a horrific scene. Um, it was not, by the grace of God. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.